All right, you guys asked for it, so today I am delivering a longer clean with me video. I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about this whole time, but I just wanted to show you all of the chores and stuff that I did today on this particular day. Um, first, I started off with laundry, always starting off with the diaper laundry, and then it was a Friday, which is grown-up laundry as well. So I started with the diapers, and then we moved on to the parents' laundry, me and my husband's laundry. First thing in the morning, I always like to empty the clean side of the sink. Uh, just everything that was left over from the night before. We don't like typically hand dry things. I just let them dry in the sink over there. So I'm putting all that stuff away first thing here in the morning, just so it seems like I'm kind of on a roll. I like to get a lot of stuff done in the morning. Um, I just think it's easier to start getting stuff done in the morning and feel kind of productive if I just sit around and do nothing for an hour or so in the morning, I probably am not gonna do anything all day long. So I have to get off my butt in the morning and start working on some kind of chores. Now this particular day was the half bath cleaning day. I have kind of a schedule that I have made up for different parts of the house that need to be cleaned. And I know you guys have seen me clean the half bath many times. I've only put out a couple of these cleaning videos, but I'm pretty sure I've already cleaned the half bath at least like twice in there. It's just so much easier to clean that one than to tackle the big bathrooms upstairs. But the day that I decided I was gonna film this video just so happened to be the half bath day. So I'm sorry if you've already seen the half bath cleaning situation. <laughs> That's just what happened to be on the plate for today. We did get a fancy new toilet seat though um, that has a little kid toilet seat part of it. Our other toilet seat kind of like cracked and so we had to get a new one anyway so we decided to get a cool one that Calvin could also potty on so that's super exciting, right? <laughs> but I guess that little extra toilet seat just makes for some extra cleaning. <laughs> really, it's a little bit more surface area than before. So this next clip here is like perfect hashtag mom life situation because I spend a few minutes cleaning off the countertop, just kind of getting everything off the countertop so I can actually wipe it down. And then you'll see in a moment here that uh, Calvin just immediately starts putting other things on the counter. <laughs> Like, literally, as soon as I get it all wiped down, he just shows up with a puzzle that he wants to do. He's been practicing with his puzzles lately, so he's been having lots of fun with that. Um, he got a couple different big puzzles for Christmas, and he's been totally into putting those together. And you got little Aaron down there eating some snacky stuff for breakfast as well. Uh, that's just kind of how I distracted the boys while I got some cleaning done. I just kind of like gave them some snacks. Aaron's eating some little banana muffins, baby muffins. And Cal already had his breakfast of peanut butter toast. That's his favorite thing lately. So the other thing on the list for today was vacuuming the upstairs, which is where all of our bedrooms are. So I started in the, uh, I don't even know what you would call this space. This is like the hallway or the landing or whatever <laughs> started out there. I hate having to carry our vacuum up the stairs and I hate the corded vacuum. We have a cordless one, but it doesn't have quite the suction that this corded one does. I would much prefer to use the cordless one. It's like super easy because it's super lightweight and you don't have to worry about the stupid cord. I'm like terrible about 
the cord when it comes to vacuuming. Like I'm always holding it in the wrong stupid hand. I look like a silly, crazy person when I'm trying to vacuum because I'm always holding the cord so ridiculously. <laughs> Oh, and I hope you guys like my choice of outfit for the day. It looks super put together and fancy. Green sweatpants and my weekend shirt when it's it's a Friday. It's not even a, a weekend day. I shouldn't really be wearing my proper weekend sweatshirt. <laughs> Magically, I made my bed first thing this morning, so you didn't have to watch me do that. Like, I never do that. Like, I'm not very good about making our bed every single day. Only if I'm like filming in my bedroom, so I need like a decent background, would I like actually uh, make my bed first thing in the morning. And you can see my husband's late night snack of choice lately, Cheez-Its. <laughs> So next we're just moving into the boys room, vacuum vacuum all over the place in the boys room. I actually, it wasn't too long ago that I vacuumed the boys rooms. I don't know about you guys, but I don't vacuum like our bedrooms very often. Like I'm, I vacuum the downstairs like living room like three times as much as I vacuum upstairs. So it really wasn't that long ago. So there wasn't that much stuff in the carpet actually. So here you have just a little shot of my planner. I do put in the things that I accomplished that day and things that I plan to accomplish so that I just know the last time I did it. Like when's the last time I cleaned our hall bath or when's the last time I vacuumed here or there or whatever. So I like to keep track of that kind of thing. I'm actually thinking about doing a video all about how I plan out the stuff that I'm uh, going to be accomplishing all the chores and household things that I accomplish. I was thinking about putting a video out about it, but I feel like I don't really like, <laughs> I feel like I don't have like authority to like start talking about like stay at home mom, household chore schedules and routines and stuff because I've only been doing this for like three months or something. So I feel like I don't really have like a lot of authority or practice or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't feel like I, I have uh, I should be talking about like the real schedule of things because I don't know you know I'm all like gung-ho about it right now but am I gonna be like that in six months or a year or whatever you know just because I have this cool schedule <laughs> figured out right now doesn't mean that it's gonna be that way forever and ever so let me know if you want to see a video like that let me know if that would be interesting to see how I choose what chores to do on what days and stuff like that Are you super strict about your diaper laundry? Like I always end up having like random other stuff in there like little shirts from the kids or like burp cloths and like kitchen towels. Like I always have like random other stuff in my diaper laundry. I always wonder if like other people do that or if they're like super strict about like only having diapers in the diaper laundry. That's definitely not me. Lately the boys are actually starting to grow, outgrow some of their nighttime diaper setups and I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I should start investing in more. Like we like to use like fitted diapers for nighttime and I'm thinking I need to get a size up for Cal because he's getting really big man. He's on the upper end, you know, a lot of diapers go up to like 35 pounds and that's about where, you know, Cal's like 33 or something so he's getting there and it's kind of borderline like I'm like should we buy some more should we not 
And Aaron too, he's in a lot of like medium sizes and so he's about ready to grow up into Calvin's current sizes. So I really do need to look into getting some bigger um, fitted diapers, nighttime diapers for Calvin. So if you have any recommendations on good fitted diapers uh, that hold a lot of pee overnight, let me know. Or should I just try trainers? I don't know, Cal's diapers, he goes through phases. Sometimes they're super soaked in the morning. He only wears diapers to bed, but sometimes they're super soaked in the morning. Sometimes they're totally dry. So I don't know, is he gonna potty train soon? I have no idea. Like even if he does totally potty train like nighttime, like do I really trust him <laughs> to not pee overnight in his bed? I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh, I actually heard recently from Bailey on the Cloth Diaper podcast here on YouTube talking about how she doesn't put her wet bags in with her diaper laundry because of the zippers and stuff. And I never thought about that. I never like, that never crossed my mind that like the zippers could be damaging the PUL on the other items. But I've always put in my wet bags with my regular covers and everything. I put it all in together, but I just kind of started wondering about it, kind of thinking about it since Bailey mentioned it in her recent, uh, that was her like cloth diaper wash routine video, I believe. I'll leave a link down below to her channel if you're interested. Bailey is very down to earth. She's very real and she's very passionate about cloth diapers, all things cloth diapers. So as you can see, I had some little helpers with me for putting away the laundry. This was at the very, very end of the day, right before my husband got home. And I was like, I gotta get all this laundry put away before he gets home because I know he hates putting laundry away. And if I could just actually get it accomplished during the day and him not to have to see it, I, I just feel better. <laughs> so I had to hurry and rush and put everything away so the boys are all over playing and doing whatever they want. Calvin's getting into everything, jumping around like crazy person. We have so much, when I only do the laundry uh, once a week for me and my husband, we have so much laundry all at once. It's like three loads just of our laundry. And that sucks, that's like a lot. I don't know, I mean, is that a lot? Maybe not. <laughs> Is anyone else's husband like super particular about the hangers that uh, are used for their clothes? My husband does not like the ones with the little notches in them. Like I prefer the little notches for a lot of my clothes because some stuff has like a really wide neckline and it kind of needs that extra support to stay on the hanger. My husband hates those ones. He only likes the straight, boring, plain hangers because when he takes his shirt off, he doesn't want it to get like caught on one of the little notches on there. So. That's, that's one little pet peeve of his, I guess. I always have to use different hangers for his stuff and my stuff. <laughs> So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a longer clean with me. I know it wasn't all totally exactly cleaning. There was some laundry in there as well. So uh, give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. Let me know what else you want to see here on this channel and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.